Hi there, I'm Karen McCarthy and it's time to Karenize. This is an off schedule day. I have a team haul, but I also have a little story to tell you. Uh, you may have noticed if you've been watching my channel, different music and I've got a story to share. So let's start with that first. Um, it has to do with not always believing everything you're told on Google. <laughs> Uh, before I get into my music, I have a kind of funny story. We got a puppy. Oh gosh, how old is Yuki now? I think he's eight this summer. And um, one of my stepsons wanted to name him. They have Japanese on one side of their family. and He wanted to name him something in Japanese. So he decided to Google how to say lucky in Japanese. And I said, why don't you just ask grandma? You know, I mean, she speaks Japanese. And he said, no, I want to do this myself. So he found Yuki on uh, Google that said it meant uh, lucky in Japanese. So he took his puppy up to see grandma and she looked at the puppy who is black and gray with a little white and brown. And she said, why did you name a black dog Snow? <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. So don't always believe what you see on Google. So for me, I was looking a lot, quite a while ago, several years ago, looking for an app that I could use to create my videos for, um, at that time, it was not my YouTube station. It was for our nonprofit youth center. And I found a, an app and the review or whatever I found it on said that it, it, you know, it was perfectly safe to use all the music. Excuse me, if you hear noise, the dogs are going in and out um, to use the music on your videos for YouTube. So I did and I, I keep getting these copyright claims on my videos and I couldn't figure out what was going on because I mean every once in a while I grab a picture that I have in stock and use it but usually I make my own pictures my content is my own I was using music from that app and I was like what is going on so finally I thought well I'm gonna go on the app I found a you know ask us for help and I sent a message and I told them what was going on and here's what they said our music is totally fine for you to use for private use, but it cannot be used on YouTube videos. Well, so don't always believe what you hear on or read on Google. So that was that. Now I've got a teeny tiny Timu haul. Uh, would you believe there's nothing craft related in this one? It's all um, makeup, clothes, and one household item. So let's start with that one. <laughs> when I first opened it, I'm like, what in the world is this? I knew it had something to do with a household, but I obviously do not read Chinese. Um, but it is, I don't like using pumice stones on my, like my, my bathroom sink. I don't know what I was going to say, but it didn't come out. Um, because, you know, they scratch. So I saw this and it, just as I got this yesterday, I was in my bathroom cupboard and I opened this little box and I went, what are these? It's the same kind of thing, only they're gray. But they, they feel like erasers, but you use them to scrub. Oh, I was going to read the, the yeah, don't, don't use it to read this. Um, it's, I used it to scrub off um, hard water stains in our bathroom sink. I mean, it was just, I hadn't done it for a while, and it was like yellow or almost orange. It just looked horrible. And I used the gray one, so I'm assuming this is going to work the same. And it took like 90% of it off. It was amazing without scratching. I mean, like I say, it's just like an eraser. So very cool. I'll try this one and see how it compares. And then I got the last concealer that I got. If you watched, I think it was my last Timu haul. If not, it was the one before. It was um, a tri-color concealer. It had three different colors. It was very cheap, like, I don't know, a dollar something, I think. I loved it. I mean, yeah, you can blend the three to get the right shade, and I really love it. So I decided I'm gonna try another one. This one was $1.97. Oh, by the way, this was $2.89. $1.97, I might have gotten a little bit too pale of a shade. We'll see, because it's it's pretty pale. I'm gonna have to get a little applicator because with my fingernails, I, well, I guess I could go down here. Let's see, I've got a little spot here. Oh, it's very creamy. Yeah, it's a little bit pale but I can blend it in and it will definitely help with the, the dark circles. I kind of wanted have, to have one downstairs where our master suite is and my makeup table is, and then upstairs if I need to do touch-ups so I don't have to run down. So, oh, very creamy, I like that. Then I got, hey boo-boo, some eye cream. Oh, I, this one's got more wrapper on it than I thought. I'm, you know, I think I told you before, I'm 66 now and I don't want to start looking my age and definitely my eyes show it. And then it's weird. This side of my face shows it more than this side usually because I had, 
just two, two different jobs. Let me get some scissors here. Two different jobs where I did a ton of driving and had, I. so here's, if you're younger, always put one of those screens or something on your window or use lots of sunscreen. I did not do either. And I can feel like I have this exercise I do for the nasal labial folds where you grab your cheek and you shake. This side's very easy to shake. This side is very thick and I have to, I shake it a little bit and then I have to readjust and do it again. Works really well. Let me show you if you're interested. You grab, I'm going to do this side because it's easier. You grab right by your nose and out here and you shake for like 30 seconds and then right at the base of your nose and out and shake for 30 seconds and the edges of your mouth and then over here. And I mean, I haven't done it consistently and I can see them starting to try to come back. But when I was doing that every day, they were gone. This was gone. Now the marionette lines are taking a little longer, so we'll see. That's what makes me look cranky because it pulls down their mouth. Anyway, aside from that, and sorry guys, if you're not interested in that, what did I just do with what I had in my hand? Oh, jeepers. I'm losing my mind. Okay, let's see what this looks like. I have all kinds of eye cream. I really didn't need another one, but I always like to try different ones. And like I say, have them sitting around. So if I start feeling like my eyes are, this is not coming out. Oh, my eyes are getting kind of dry around. My goodness. I can't keep my train of thought when I'm having trouble getting it. Oh, it's pretty. Maybe that's why I ordered it. I love the colors. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So it's called Ochil. And oh, it's got all kinds of Chinese writing on it. Retin A Ester Elastic Moisturizing Cream, and it was a dollar seventy nine. I love the packaging. Let's see what it's like. It's just a whoops. Get it up here where you can see. Can you see it right there? A little white cream. Oh, I think I'm gonna like that. It's very, very nurturing feeling. Yeah, try that out. Okay, and then I in my car I have a lip plumping lip gloss that I really like. I don't know if it plumps the lips. It feels like it does because it definitely tingles and it's getting kind of low. Haven't been able to find. I've seen people doing Dollar Trees say they have them at their Dollar Tree and ours doesn't. So this is lip lip plumper gloss. I can't say that fast. And it was $3.14. So probably, I don't know, maybe similar to what I would pay in the Drugstore, although I don't know, stuff's getting pretty expensive these days. So let's see what it looks like. So there it is. Let's put it on. You can tell me as you're watching if you see my lips just plump up. <laughs> okay, the color is good, I think. Tell me what you think about the color. Mm, it feels good. A little tingling. Not quite as much. Oh, there it goes. I like that tingling. Okay, then I believe I got yeah I got this for my husband. It was his birthday a while back, not too long ago, and I think I was ordering it for that. It says <laughs> sometimes this is not exactly true, but I am a multitasker. I can listen, ignore. Oh yeah, I can listen, ignore, and forget all at the same time. I don't know if you can read it. There we go. All right, wives, does that sound like your husband? <laughs> we we have a little signal because he is hard of hearing and he doesn't always have his hearing aid in. And, and he also, as you may have noticed, I do everything fast. I talk fast, I walk fast, I think fast, I decide fast. I probably need to slow down a lot. And he's the complete opposite. He thinks things through, he takes a bit to, to process. And so if I say something to him, he has this, I call it the deer in the headlights look. His son does it too, one of his sons. And I said, okay, I can't tell what that means because I get that same look, whether you're thinking, whether you didn't hear me. Um, what's the other one? Thinking here. Oh, this is thinking. And this is understand. Oh, did you understand me? Did you hear me? Are you thinking about your answer? So he can do these things to kind of give me a clue because I'm just sitting there waiting for a response, not knowing if I need to talk louder, if 
I need to repeat it or just give him time. So anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. So a couple of hauls ago, I got a gray t-shirt. It's just a t-shirt, kind of long. It comes down just over the butt, I think. And I liked it so much, I got three more. They're all six forty-seven. dollars So um, they're just a, just a regular t-shirt, so I probably won't do a model at the end. Wow, what size did I get? <laughs> that looks huge. Huh, it doesn't even say the size. They call this burgundy, I call it red. Oh, there it is, large. What's really sad is they look really huge this way and then I put them on and they're the right size because I like them baggy. So it's got a little pocket and a V-neck. I got red, or burgundy as they call it. This one they call dark green. And I got a purple and let's see what they call it. Yes, they call it purple. So. I really like these. Um, I just like to have a little fullness down in that area. So, ooh, excuse me, that probably scratched my floor and your ears. Okay, I think that was it. And instead of waiting for another one, because I'm not doing, I don't think I've done another one, trying not to do very many orders because it was getting ridiculous. Um, but let me know. Let me know if, uh, if you've done Timu, if you've been pleased with your products. I mean, I had only a couple of things that weren't what I thought they were going to be or weren't quite up to snuff. And I'll tell you, if you report it to them, I got a refund just like that. Um, also, I will put the links in the description box, but just know that their prices change a lot. So sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. And if they're out of stock, um, if you, and I can't give you a link when they're out of stock, unfortunately, but if you find this and it's out of stock, you can, do a let me they'll say uh similar items or let me know when it's back in stock so you can always do that if you're looking for something and it's not available right then uh, i kind of like that let me know if you put it in your wish list and just keep it there sometimes they even reduce the price for you because they're like come on buy it <laughs> so anyway i realized that at the beginning with that story i forgot to tell you if you did notice that there is different music on my videos now it took me all afternoon because I am not tech savvy to find uh, music that I could actually use that I didn't have to pay an arm and a leg for. Actually, I finally found it in my YouTube studio, but that's another story how long it took me to get that downloaded and into my video creator. But if you're near me and you are a tech savvy person, I would love to connect with you. <laughs> anyway, have a great one and I will talk to you next time.